from across the country to your own backyard, ATE TV shows you the many advanced technological education opportunities available at your local community college. If you have a strong foundation in math and science and are interested in solving real world industrial problems, then you might want to think about a career as an engineering technician. And then we measure in centimeters. The projects we work on here at the school, they're industrial projects. They help us solve a lot of problems that they may run into while working in industry. So this gives you a negative moment. Every tenth of a second, we need to calculate. They entail a lot of the physics and the algebra that we deal with, and uh, the math itself, it factors into the physics and the electrical as well. So it gives us a real idea of what we'll be dealing with after we graduate from the college. You could make him your proofreader. Child, you can hook this to. That's only one way to go in. Do yeah. we know how many miles we're going out of the way for this? Today we're working on a project that entails flight plans. And what we had to do was adjust some flight plans of a plane to make it counteract with another plane, a plant, a stadium, and some mountains. So it didn't come within a certain distance of another area. Now I could probably use these skills to work inside of an assembly line. You may not want two parts running too close together, so it's going to help a good bit in the real world. Yeah. That's, it's just, missing. that's just the beginning. Yes, that. it's missing. Well, I decided to go to a technical college because a four-year college is a little bit costly for me. But I, I've had a lot of help from scholarships and, and different programs, and my internship has helped me out a lot. I'm interning at the power plant by my house, so a technical college works for me because I can afford it. It's close driving distance, and it's by where I work, so it just kind of all worked together. I like my internship for the experiences because I get to work on a lot of systems in the nuclear plant, but I'm at school 90% of my time. Okay, so we turn at a 45 degree angle, travel 10 miles. The reputation of school is good, and when I was researching, I realized Florence Donaldson was more for me. So which one are you doing now? With acceleration and constant speed. My dad and my brother are mechanics and carpenters, and we didn't know how to do any electrical work, so I took some high school and it kind of got me into messing around with it. So. That's why I ended up here. Any advice I'd have for new students that come into this uh, program is to definitely study hard at it, especially with your physics and your math, because that is your key classes that will help you out in the field. I think it's a great program for anyone to get into. It works for me. Ben's using his classroom knowledge of cutting edge technology and applying it directly to his internship. That's putting him one step closer to an exciting career as a nuclear engineering technician.